hello guys today we will see some more problems so the first problem is a circuit is composed of resistance 6 ohms and series capacitive reactance of 8 ohms a voltage will be 141 sin 314t is supplied to the circuit find complex impedance effective value of current power delivered to the circuit as well as capacitance of the capacitor so first we will derive the circuit given data given data is given data given data he has given that the resistance value resistance value is 6 ohms no so i will write resistance value is 6 ohms and capacitive reactance capacitive reactance is 8 ohms and voltage voltage he has given no e of t equal to 141 sin 314t sin 314t so if you observe this value it is in the form of e of t equal to em sin omega t em sin omega t so from this e maximum value will be e maximum value will be 141 and omega value will be equal to 314 radians per second 314 radians per second next first he has also asked to calculate the complex impedance so complex impedance z equal to z equal to v by i z equal to v by i for this we will take the vrms value so erms value equal to he has given e value as E m sin omega t. E m sin omega t means 141 sin 314t. From this I can calculate the RMS value. No? E RMS value equal to E m by root 2. So E m value is 141 by root 2. 141 by root 2. So the 141 by root 2 value will be 99.7 ohms. 99.7 ohms is the E RMS. So we have to calculate the I value you know z equal to v by i. So z equal to z equal to r minus j x c r minus j x c r value is 6 ohms and x c value is 8 ohms 6 minus j 8 ohms. So it is in the rectangular form. So if you convert in the polar form, the polar form value will be 10 at an angle of 10 at an angle of minus 53.13 minus 53.13 so this is the z value so we have calculated the z value complex impedance next we have to calculate i value i value total current equal to i equal to v by z voltage value is voltage we have calculated it now 99.7 at an angle of 0 by z value z value is 10 at an angle of minus 53.13 minus 53.13 so it is in the form of r1 pi 1 by r2 pi 2 so r1 pi 1 by r2 pi 2 means r1 by r2 by pi 1 minus pi 2 My minus of minus value will be plus so 9.97 9.97 at an angle of 53.13 at an angle of 53.13 this is the current value next he has asked to calculate power delivered to the circuit power delivered to the circuit means power equal to power equal to vi cos pi vi cos pi so voltage value is voltage value is 99.7 and current value is 9.97 and current angle current angle is the 53.13 no so cos of cos of 53.13 cos of 53.13 so this is the power value so 9.97 99.7 into 9.97 cos of 53.13 the value will be 590 596.40 watts this is the power consumed in the circuit so power consumed in the circuit will be 596.4 watts lastly he has asked to calculate the capacitance of the circuit 
capacitance of the capacitor capacitance of the capacitor means as you know xc value equal to 1 by omega c xc equal to 1 by omega c so we have to calculate the capacitance value you know capacitance xc equal to 1 by omega into xc omega value is 1 by 314 and xc value is 8 so 314 into 8 so the capacitance value will be 3.98 into 10 power minus 4 farads so if you convert into micro the micro value will be 398 micro farad so this is the capacitance value capacitance value will be 398 micro farad and the power consumed value will be 596.4 watts and the current value is 9.97 at an angle of 53.13 and complex impedance complex impedance value will be 10 at an angle of minus 53.13 this is the value so we have calculated the uh, all the values complex impedance effective value of current effective value of current or current and power delivered to the circuit power delivered circuit will be p equal to vi cos pi and capacitance we have calculated okay thank you guys we will meet in next class thank you